In this video, we will cover portfolio options. First, let's take a look at the portfolio options, which are accessed on the Projects tab. These options are the default behavior for how the system interacts with project data, including dates, data cost, default views, calendars, etc. Most important are the general, risk, and calculation options. When you open the general options, you will see the Save Columns tab. You can make changes to views by adding or hiding columns, changing the order, etc. Be sure to save the layout or your changes will be lost. In the Risk tab, we set default behavior for risks. Generally, there are three settings of which you should be aware. Generate Risk ID automatically. You can enable the risk IDs, which will then be generated by the system and ensure there is no duplication. Click Risk ID Format to customize risk IDs. This includes prefixes, suffixes, starting values, etc. Enable Statistical Distribution for Risk Outcomes. If you enable this option, Risk Impacts, Outcomes, can be defined using a three-point statistical distribution. This is particularly relevant for quantitative risk analysis where users want to define risk impacts with ranges. Risk visibility. Risk visibility defines how a risk will propagate through the portfolio. When you add a risk to the system, risk visibility dictates who can see the risk. Default risk visibility behaviors are all projects, all summary projects or programs, immediate summary project, current project. The calculation options are primarily focused on Monte Carlo simulations. Most importantly, you can set the default number of iterations for Monte Carlo simulation and also the meaning or definition of low and high results in terms of confidence levels. So default settings could be for 2000 iterations and low and high results set at P10, extremely optimistic, and P80, high confidence.